All right, guys, uh, I just wanted to make a kind of free-flowing video about the website Fiverr. Uh, I just wanted to kind of talk about everything that it has um, to offer, uh, particularly towards uh, business owners, uh, people looking to hire um, freelancers, um, what kind of services you know it, it can offer uh, people who are needing uh, services done. Um, I have used Fiverr a lot. Um, I've I've helped other people uh, use Fiverr, um, both buying things on there and selling things uh, through Fiverr. Uh, Fiverr just has a a lot to offer. Uh, so this video will kind of just be you know uh, explaining Fiverr, uh, promoting it a little bit. Um, I will have an affiliate link uh, down below if you want to sign up uh, for Fiverr and try it out. Um, but yeah, especially for people who are in the business world, I think Fiverr is a website uh, that they should know about. Um, I think many probably already do. Um, in the business world, Fiverr is is known for um, being a way to get really cheap uh, services um, done. And they offer all kinds of services. Uh, you can see here at the top, uh, graphics and design, digital marketing, um, and you can just see that there are many, many services uh, to choose from. So yeah, a lot of a lot of business owners, um, people in, in the business world, they know of Fiverr um, because you can get yeah really really cheap services uh, done. Another big thing that Fiverr is known for is is you're hiring a lot of times people from other countries. Um, a lot of times those people, they work for uh, much lower wages than, than say, in the U.S. Um, so they, they, you know, they just have lower costs of living and, and whatnot in those countries. So sometimes a service there uh, may only cost you half as much as it would, um, say, in the U.S. So obviously for a business owner, um, that can be uh, very, very enticing. Um having having you know cheaper work performed um now some people may may think that you know well you know cheaper it may be lower quality and and i would say that's definitely something to to consider is that yeah you you may get lower quality work and you know that's that's what this video is kind of about is just talking about uh fiverr in general and and the pros and cons and and whatnot uh, like I said, it's going to be kind of a, a free-flowing um, video, just kind of sharing my thoughts, um, you know, that I've that I've learned from using um, Fiverr. Um, so so yeah, whenever you um, get onto Fiverr and, and sign up, um, like I said, you can either you know uh, buy buy services here, or you can sell them. Um, as well, you know, yourself. Uh, I think both are, are great, you know, um, options. Um, but, you know, this video is more kind of oriented towards buying um, services, you know, maybe as a, as a business owner or someone starting a small business or, or something like that. But when you get on there, um, yeah, you can look through some of these um, categories and, and, you know, here's one just for instance, influencer marketing. Um, we can click on that and, uh, yeah, we can just look at the first one here, the first service and, um, you know, you can just read about a little bit about what it is, but, um, you can scroll down, you can learn a little bit more about the, um, particular seller. So here you can see he's, he is from Pakistan. So kind of like what I said, um, a lot of times, you know, Fiverr is known for you're hiring people from from other countries uh, who work for much lower rates than than people say in the U.S. So that's that's really great. You can get this a lot of this work done uh, for much cheaper. Um, a lot of times, you know, as far as quality is concerned, a lot of times their their quality is is just as good. It, it may be um, even better than in the U.S. Um, you don't really know. You just have to kind of uh, test people out, um, try them, look, look at what they offer. Um, there may be a little bit of, uh, you know, language, um, barrier. Um, you can kind of just 
read through some of their stuff and see how how good some of their English is. Uh, my experience has been that they're they're usually pretty good. Um, you can always kind of uh, reiterate things if if you need to have them, you know, explained more. Um, so yeah, when when you are on Fiverr, um, you can just type here into the top. You can you can search for something, or if you kind of know the general category that it's in. Um, you can kind of search the category and see, you know, stuff that way. Um, when I'm on here, I'm always looking at, you know, the reviews, um, the seller rating. Um, I think their seller ratings, uh, top rated sellers, the highest level, level two is, is the second. Um, I typically look for people with those, you know, levels there. That, that means you're pretty much going to get someone who's, who's really had a lot of experience doing, doing what they're doing. Um, not to say you couldn't find someone who was level one or, or level zero who was, who was good. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm always looking at the reviews. So these reviews here, 272, um, I believe that is for this particular gig. Uh, so his gig is I will find top YouTube and Instagram influencer to boost your sales. So it looks like he's had 272 ratings, um, on this with a 4.9 star review. So I would say that that is excellent. You know, that's a lot of experience. He's got three orders in queue. So people are, you know, ordering him right now still, you know, currently. Um, so he's even kind of uh, showing that off here a little bit in his pictures. So yeah, you can always look through these pictures. Um, some of these pictures show, you know, completed projects uh, with a little uh, review down at the bottom. So I, I always try to look through these, you know, sometimes make them full screen uh, to see, you know, more, more detail about what was going on. Um, so, yeah, that's his review for this particular gig. And then you can, you know, go down to his, you know, profile. And this is just kind of his general profile, how many total reviews he has. So this is 282. Uh, so 272, 282. So it looks like this is probably um, his his main or, you know, gig. Um, you can look more at his profile. So you can see he's got a couple gigs here, uh, but definitely that's, that's his best-selling one. That's the one that he's, you know, really got the experience in. Not to say that any of these wouldn't be, um, you know, quality gigs either. Um, I have noticed that sometimes people kind of lie about, you know, some of the stuff they put in their, their bio. Sometimes they lie about their, you know, education or, you know, their experience. Um, so I, I would be careful of that. But, you know, the main thing you can go off is just, you know, looking at their experience on these particular gigs um, and just kind of their rating in general. Um, you can see, you know, if he's online, you know, a lot of people, that's another great thing about Fiverr, you know, you can kind of just talk to someone immediately, uh, talk to somebody who's online right at this very moment. Um, but yeah, you can kind of read through some of the reviews as well. Um, just, um, you know, I, I like seeing people who come back, you know, to someone. Um, if someone says, I've been working with him for, you know, months or, you know, I've, this is, you know, I've done several projects with him. That's, that's a really good, you know, testimony, you know, that they keep coming back to the seller. Um, so that's maybe something that I'll kind of look for. Um, I think Fiverr does ask for kind of a review from the buyer, like right after the sale. Um, and I mentioned that because, you know, someone may just give give a good review right after the sale. Um, you know, even though the project may need kind of some time to really see how it performed. Um, so I, I would be just a little bit cognizant of that. Um, for instance, you know, I forget what his gig was, but find an Instagram influencer to boost your post. So maybe if you need a month to really see how the boosting, you know, turned out, um, you know, leaving a review the day of the, of the purchase wouldn't quite tell the whole story. So, so something like that I might be aware of, um, when I'm, when I'm shopping. Um, but you can always, uh, save some of these sellers, uh, save them to your list to come back to them, to remember them. Um, I like seeing how long they've been a member. 
Um, that's interesting to me. Uh, once again, they may lie about their pictures. They may lie about, you know, uh, a lot of stuff, but, um, you're kind of looking at the reviews and whatnot. Um, I like to message people a lot of times before I make a purchase. Uh, just let them know, Hey, I'm interested in, in your, you know, services. Can you tell me more about them? Maybe do you have any examples? And it may take them a day, you know, or so to get back to you, but sometimes that can be kind of a a way to learn more about something before diving in and purchasing it. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall with Fiverr, like I said, you're going to find um, just a lot of cheap work. And, and you know, it, it's a great way for someone new to business, you know, to hire someone. Maybe you've never hired someone before. Maybe you don't want to take on an employee you know, in person, but maybe you can kind of hire, hire one of these people, try it out for a little bit. There's, there are no big commitments. Um, like I said, much cheaper and, you know, you can just kind of go on to Fiverr and just, you know, <clears throat> um, get inspiration for yourself, get inspiration for your business. You can kind of look through some of these things, um, see everything that's available, maybe get some ideas, you know, what, what could I add to my business? Oh, maybe some sales and marketing copy, you know, maybe that's something I could, um, improve, you know, ad copy. It could make my ads, you know, read a lot better and, and look more professional. And yeah, so that's, that's another thing just in itself that I like coming on to Fiverr, uh, to use and do. Um, but anyways, I hope that this was maybe helpful for people. Uh, like I said, it's just kind of a general video, but yeah, if you're, if you're new to Fiverr, you can sign up using my link. Um, I, I, I'd appreciate that. And that'll let you kind of, you know, try something out, try something out for uh five, 10 bucks. Um, just kind of get used to the process, see how you like it. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and thank you very much.